Okay, in the 125 first week, um, obviously I've had this tank longer, but uh, since taking out all the uh, fish in the 220, I have not added any fish in here other than, you know, what was added in the uh, the grow outs and everything. So uh, this tank was super interesting. Uh, that first day, um, it was pretty crazy. The, uh, definitely there was a struggle for dominance in that. Um, I mean, for almost the full, you know, eight hours I had the light on the everybody was pretty much you know squaring up with somebody else for for the whole time um it's since settled down now everybody just kind of swims around i mean so much activity in this tank um you know it's, this is a tuesday i did the water change on sunday and they're swimming around as if i just did a water change like super active uh, but that that's all the time like so i'm pretty excited about that you know getting some of those bigger bigger dominant fish out maybe uh you know the little ones maybe stay to themselves a little bit more now they're, I don't want to say they're all the same because there's still some, definitely like the Insignis is pretty good size and, you know, and I have some other ones that are pretty small, but it seems like everybody's more in an even keel here, so. Um, as far as coloring up, uh, you know, a lot, I've noticed a lot more color in this tank, um, specifically like the uh, Mylochromus uh, Erectinea. Uh, and of course he's not going to turn. I mean, he's gotten a lot darker blue to him kind of zoom in on there um, so he looks a lot nicer um, let's see who else uh, I mentioned the Jalo Reef my other one he's a little bit trickier because he's kind of light to begin with but uh, you can really see the the purple and the blue and you know when he angles on in and out so he definitely looks actually I think better in person than he does on the camera I mean I can't say that about all of them but um, there you go with the uh, blue gold showing his dominance. He's actually one of the, you know, the top dogs here. He and the uh, Tangerine Tiger there seem to get along really well. Um, and then the uh, uh, Strigatus, he's actually uh, colored up. He's getting a little bit of uh, the turquoise in the face, the red anal fin, so that's good to see. But, uh, really happy with this tank. Um, you know, when you had the 220, I always thought that this tank would take a backseat to it, um, which, you know, it has a, in a sense, but uh, definitely, you know, all the fish seem to have stepped up. Like I said, the activity in here is crazy. You're seeing them all swimming around like this. This is, like, what they do all the time, so it's it makes it a lot more pleasing to the eye when there's all this movement. So, very happy with this tank, very happy with the 120, or the 220. Um, we'll see what happens in the next week. Take care. All right, guys. This is gonna be my weekly update on my tanks, my 220, and my 125. Um, this is obviously week one. I'm just kind of doing this for myself too, just to you know, kind of keep a record of you know how the tanks come and come along, and how the fish have you know grown or you know lived, died, you know added fish, whatever. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off by the fish I added. I added this guy right here, the Teniochromus uh, holotinea. Um, he is a wild caught fish. I mean, not that it really matters to me, but um, since adding him, he was all brown. He's added a nice. Ah, get out of the way, let's go. He's added a nice uh, yellow to the bottom there. Um, kind of lightened up quite a bit. Um, probably about three and a half, maybe four inch fish. But um, he was at my local fish store. It wasn't really a fish I was looking to get so much, but uh, you know I know they do look nice when they're a little bit bigger. Um, but I traded in some fish. Like I said, I uh, had some store credit. Since obviously I got more store credit than I would have gotten cash, and basically it washed, so I got him for free. Um, so he's the only addition I've got. Um, as far as everybody else in here, uh, everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, the Bucachromus heterotinea, he's added a nice little bit of blue tinge to his uh, side. You can kind of see it a little bit on his gill plates there and a little bit on his side. Uh, so that's good. Um, eye biter chasing, chasing around. Pretty much the eye biter, the, uh, uh, where is he at? Just trying to, uh, the Bucachromus, uh, not a tinea. And the uh, Fusco or the three that kind of you know take turns as being the dominant one in the tank but nobody's too bad at all really so um, you know, I'm pretty happy about that um, that's really about it and here's the trout he's still doing good everybody's everybody's doing pretty well um, 
got the <clears throat> sand diver here. He's doing nice. Um, he seems to really be, uh, for being small in this tank, he seems to really do well. He doesn't uh, really get bullied at all. He's always at the top fighting for food. So that's good. I'm, I'm excited to see him start coloring up, you know, in a, when he gets a little bit bigger. Uh, the gar, he's added a little bit of red to his anal fin. Um, you know, otherwise he looks pretty, you know, pretty drab. So hopefully uh, this tank here helps him out. Um, so that's really about it, guys. Uh, a couple of fish, like I said, a little bit of color being added to them, but uh, you know, obviously a week, it's not going to change change everything. So still excited about it. Uh, I got a few fish, like I said, I want to add, but uh, probably going to hold off till at least uh, definitely from at least we get back from vacation. So probably looking at September, October ish. But uh, that's about it with the uh, 220 for the first week.